Remember that sound, Jefferson? Next time that door drops, you won't be hearing it. Perhaps. No one's coming to your rescue, Jefferson. Your American friends have abandoned you, and your pathetic little rebellion will die with you at the end of that rope. My people, I have asked you all here to witness the termination of a vicious plot, a plot to take San Marcos away from me, us. The seeds of discontent. I'm gonna dry that tear for you, but it'll be out of character. In the last garden of look. our Caribbean homeland. Is that you? I bring before you I think the results. That slime ball really hanging, do you? The United States that have poisoned certain segments of our sovereign nation. And God, God bless you. Stand on the threshold of destiny, the elimination of these traitors is one more triumphant battle won for the freedom of third world nations. Thomas Jefferson, Bonita Gallegos, Alberto Musalén, and Roberto Rivas. Once good people have been infected with the disease of dissent. For that, they must die. Those imperialists from across the ocean who look upon San Marcos with greedy eyes should take note. Do not underestimate the will and determination of our military forces. We have come a long way. The people of San Marcos have been forced to labor tirelessly to bring our country to the status This is going to be for you, Bonita. The of our efforts is soon to be mined and polished to glitter in the rays of the sun. Tell me, you done here yet? B.A., genius and artistry cannot be rushed. Hey, man, if you don't hurry up, those people gonna die. Like I said, nothing here that can't pass for perfection. So what's going on? Didn't you find a boat? Martin got the boat in the building out back. So what's the problem? All we gotta do is wait for our boy Murdoch to come through with his part. That's the thing that worries me. Vamos a ver. A new triumphant battle won for the freedom of third world nations. It is a new beginning of dawn of the long hard night of the longest day. Executioner, do your duty. I don't believe this. Time, Murdoch. We're cutting it a little close. Come on, Murdoch.
palace. They're attacking my palace! Get away! After them! This is Marshal Leader to the Combined Military Forces of Presidente Marti and offer you a rare opportunity to lay down your weapons and join the vice and troops of San Marcos. Out back. Get it, crazy fool. Okay, I gotta tell you, from up here, the local flora and fauna is quite remarkable. Murdoch. Spy boat. They're going for the boat! Martin, I've been saving this little puppy just for you. This is for all the rotten things you ever did to Bonita and her people. I call it the Frankie Flip. All right. All right. All right. I love it when a plan comes together. Let's get out of this county. Hannibal! Hi, Face. Welcome back. Oh, look who's here. No, no, you look who's here. Oh, what a sleazy surprise. Tommy, I got some bad news for you. Shut up. Lock that waitress in the freezer. Hello again. Hello! Hey! I'll take better care of you next time. I'll wait right here. You left without saying goodbye. Goodbye. I'll look me in the eye and say that. It's all over, Tedesco. We got to Brick Peterson. They caught your shooter. It's true, Tommy. It's all over the news. Shut up. Line them up. You first. And you two. I'm really disappointed in you, Tommy. I mean, I thought you were supposed to be good at this kind of thing. I mean, how do you guys feel? Aren't you kind of disappointed in Tommy? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm not. Oh. Tommy. Not now. Yeah, now. Not here. You can't just line them up at the Valentine's Day Massacre. Shut the TV. Wait a minute. We now have further details on the attempted assassination of BLU presidential candidate Brick Peterson. We can confirm that Mr. Peterson is alive and well. We also have the first pictures of the weapon used in the attempt, as well as an identification of the assailant. His name is Joey Diamond, an alleged mobster from the East Coast. See, Tommy, Thank you, you just turned very good at it. Got a problem, Hannibal. That's not the guy that Tommy hired. <laughs> I don't get it. So then who did the cops nab? A patsy. At these prices, you get a dead assassin and a dead victim, right, Tommy? We only hire the very best. All right, everybody, into the truck. We're going to run you into a roadblock for a nice, clean law enforcement kill. Uh, oh, Sally. Oh everybody freeze. <laughs> Boy, we got a real endangered species here, an unarmed hoodlum with a spitting grin. Anybody want to take a photograph? All right. Let's get these clowns tied up and get that lady out of the freezer. We gotta go. Sally, are you all right? I just can't believe we still haven't even stopped. I mean, after all of this, what have we got? You know he knows who I am. So 
who's just gonna move his operation, and he's still gonna kill Britt Peterson. Ah, oh, look, we're gonna stop this guy. We couldn't have done it if it hadn't been for what you did. You wanna know what I did? I mean, what did I really do? I walked in there with my ego to take the Pulitzer, and what did I end up with? Lifestyles of the rich and despicable. I mean, how am I even gonna go home? I can't face my folks. Let's go. Peterson will be on stage in two hours. Hold it, Hannibal. What about this roadblock? You don't expect me to turn this heap of junk into a tank with the spare parts from the kitchen, do you? VA, relax. Jump in the driver's seat. I got a better idea. Bring Loverboy over here. Frankie, get me some rope. You are a dead man. Yeah, but I got to see Atlantic City before I die. Uh, listen, Hannibal, I, uh, I think I'll tag along with you guys. Uh, you know, just till we're past the roadblock. Sure. Sure, face. Almost there, Tommy. We didn't gag you on purpose. Now, if you have any thoughts in your mind, just feel free to say them. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! My sentiments exactly. Hold your fire! I can't believe this. Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Mr. Tedesco kindly requests that you remove the barricade so that he may continue his scenic tour of the highway. This will also prevent my associate from being forced to shoot him. Remove the barricade, now! Do what he says! All right, move it back. Open it up, let's go. On the right and on the left, you see representatives of the finest law enforcement agencies of the state. And save for their drab uniforms, they are a remarkably cohesive unit. 